Welcome Libra Scorpio to your end of the month reading for March. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. And your energy, this is what you are thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. In month. Libra Scorpio. Hope you guys had a great March. going to April next month or Easter but you know my biggest thing guys is I don't know if I should put up the pink tablecloth or the yellow tablecloth so I thought maybe I'll leave it up to you guys leave it up to the subscribers to tell me what color I should use I have this cute little bunny to put on the table and it's got both colors I just don't know which one to use so I'm gonna leave it up to you guys so you guys go ahead and put that in the comment box and tell me what color tablecloth you would like to have, the yellow or the pink for April. And I'm only going to leave it up to you. I'm not going to ask anyone else. How about that? It's going to be Libra Scorpio's job to tell me what color the tablecloth is going to be. So if I ask everybody, it's going to get all lost. So. Okay. Okay, my friends. Here we go. Look at that Uriel and the Sphinx upside down. Yes. Okay, guys, that is a really good card upside down because that's telling us that the difficulties and the hardships that you had that might have been the biggest in your life, as big as the Sphinx, um, are now over. So it feels like those trials and tribulations have come to an ending or are getting ready to come to an ending. Okay, so take it how it resonates. Has it already ended for you or... You know, or do you know that it's coming to an end? So, very nice. Resting easy now. New cycles. So, getting straight into the Uriel and the Sphinx. Let's clarify on that card in the entire reading. And one more, my friends. Let's see. Oh, what is it? What is it? destiny. That's it. The cycles are over. You've broken the chain and the cycles are over. <sighs> Pat yourself on the back and take a <sighs> deep breath, right? And let it all out. And like I said, if it's not completely over just yet, it is on its way out. Okay. Since it's a general reading. Okay. So getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, the recent past and the near future. Okay. And it is the chess game. Feeling like you were in a chess game. Wow. That doesn't surprise me though, because it was the hardest game you ever played. You might have had to play against different people. These people are causing all these problems. Feeling like you can't, you know, maybe there was a stalemate. You're always trying to get around these people. These people are always knocking you down or this situation is always knocking you down. Back on top. Recent past, Ark of the Covenant. Wow. Near future, the Buddha prepares. There you go, guys. There you go. Now you're going to prepare to do something different, right? Because when the cycles change, everything's changing. Now you're getting ready for something new. So <clears throat> as the cycle is changing, just like the seasons from winter to spring, now you have the Buddha prepares. This is preparing you for something different. Um, you went through this whole trials and tribulations and the most difficult thing in your life, um, you know, whether it was actually... Um, a conflicting thing, or maybe it was even a good thing, right? The Uriel in the Sphinx is not always a negative card, my friend. So it could be that you were doing the most difficult thing in your life um, that had to do with the Ark of the Covenant. It could have been you getting a new job, you going to school, um, going to college, taking this class. It was the hardest class of my life, but the rewards. 
See, the Buddha prepares us showing you here comes the rewards for doing all of the hard work. So even if it was conflict, if it was definitely conflict between another person, it's all over between you and that person. That negative piece is gone. Um, you know, the divorce is over, however it is. And now you get to have the great rewards with the uh, Buddha because that's what he's doing. He's bringing in rewards. So take it how it resonates, whether it was a negative or a positive thing that you were doing. Let's see what the cards say. Pick up the biggest energy of what was going on with the Ark of the Covenant over here. It was, could have been legal things for you. Could have been writing a book, or getting your painting out into the world, knowing now that somebody wants to buy that painting, um, finding that publisher for your book, however it is. Okay. Clarify on the Ark of the Covenant, please. Ooh, the Six of Coins. There it is. Bringing that in, right? Clarifying on that. The King of Cups. Some of you might have been dealing with a Pisces. You could say, you know what? Mean this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or maybe it's yourself. Um, However it is, there was some over emotions going on and not being able to perceive everything that was going on at the time. Um, maybe you didn't even perceive that, you know, this person was going to do this, that, or the other. However it is, it's not perceiving the situation at hand. Um, not having the big picture just yet, right? So with the Six of Coins, it's saying, look at what I'm doing. Look what I can do, right? You have the charity and the kindness. You're trying your hardest, but it feels like maybe you're not seeing the overall picture of the whole puzzle over here. Maybe somebody was taking you, grant, uh, you for granted. You were giving too much generosity and they were taking you for granted. And you're like, whoa, wait a minute. I gave you all this and I did all that. And you're taking advantage of me. Taking advantage of the situation. Let's see, with the Ark of the Covenant over here, let's see what this is saying here. It says, at the most mundane level, this card can represent a beneficial legal contract or title transfer. It can also be a successful working with professionals such as brokers and lawyers. Okay, more often it indicates that you are living true to your own karmic contract, facing your lessons of growth. So like I said, you're going after the biggest pieces of your life. Um, and this is really what's going on. And I'm telling you, this used to be this way. And this was in the past. And this was the hardest thing you ever did in your life, um, whatever it might be. And uh, could, like I said, be a divorce, legal contracts, owning a house, whatever it is. Putting yourself out there. I just think that you didn't perceive it as being as hard as it was going to be. Maybe you thought it was going to be more of a cakewalk. Right? You were trying to be kind and gentle and do all these things, and then it turned in like to a nightmare. <laughs> you were like, wait a minute, this is harder than I ever thought it was going to be. And maybe this King of Cups was also maybe against you the whole time. You're over here trying to be cool, calm, and generous towards this person, and they're kind of taking advantage of you with the death card. Look at that. Yeah, they were very overwhelming to you, or you're... <laughs> You were very overwhelmed and it became more overwhelming than you had seen it coming. Um, yeah, it even gave you a little of the four of cups over here, kind of a little bit of sorrowness, a little depression. It could even make you think like, oh my God, why do I have to do this? Or why did I do this? This is very stressful because you knew, because you knew what? You knew the 10 of coins. You knew that no matter how hard this was going to be or whatever this was, it would have a better outcome in the end. And it does. Right? So you put yourself into a chess game and it feels like the chess game is now in your favor. Um, you're finally back on the board where people were kind of throwing you around and taking your pawns and knocking your knights over. And you just felt like you didn't have a footing in this game at all. Um, you're finally, your destiny is changing around and the cycles are changing now you're becoming the, you know, uh, the pawns that are all up, right? You're all the pawns 
are up, your queen is moving around and you're knocking down all their horses and all their bishops. You know, you finally got leverage in the game. Um, and that's a good thing. Now everything that was stressful is, is coming, it's coming to an end. That's awesome. So clarifying on the chest end. Oh, and you know it. Oh, you know it. You know it. You feel it. You. It's, it's through the change too, right? It's through the change. You know you have the leverage. You know you're in the winning position now, however it is. Okay. Or you know you won one way or another. Um, but you know it right now that however this is going, it's in your favor um, and that all the difficulties are over now. Now it's just getting to the end. Um, yeah. Ten of swords are over. You can't hurt me anymore. I'm not in your chess game anymore. Yeah. The palace of swords. That's the knowing. The palace of swords is like the knowing where you're standing. The knowing that you are at the top. It's knowing what you know, how to get there, and not giving up. You can perceive everything with the Palace of Swords, everything. So where the King of Cups was upside down and you couldn't perceive a whole lot of things, you're in the knowing now and the, having the complete 100% understanding. Everything is logical and there's nothing um, hidden from you. There's nothing um, that's going to hold you back. There's nothing. And that's why the difficulties are gone. You know it's moving in your favor. Page of Cups. You might have this message coming to you. And this message is also of generosity and kindness and support um, with the Page of Cups. So there's somebody coming in that's supporting, you know, your ideas or helping support the situation. Um, you might even have this message that comes in to say, hey, you know what? Um, your legal matters are over. You won the game and the chess match is over. You win. Yeah. Now you can see your ships coming in because this is what the Page of Cups is actually telling you. You win. That's it. No matter what it was. If you're in college and you busted your butt on that research paper or to get that grade, your teacher is now coming in to tell you good luck. You know, good luck. And hey, guess what? You got an A. You got a B. You passed my class. Even if you passed with a D, who cares? You passed. And you're like, yes. <laughs> you got that 60, you know, you got that 69% and you're like, God, yes, this class. Oh my God, it kicked my butt. Okay, so yeah. However it is, and the cycles are turning in your favor, and you know this, and oh my god, and there's the rewards of the Ace of Wands. So, yeah, if you were going for the legal matters of getting Grandma's house, the inheritance is now yours. If you had to get a lawyer because of the inheritance and had to fight the other, you know, grandkids or whatever, um, the other siblings for what you know Grandma literally left you, it's yours. Um, it's all coming together in your favor, and the universe is taking action in your favor. So you put in the work, it was difficult, you knew exactly what you were doing, and you got it. So with the Buddha prepares over here, it's like now, my friends, you, you can sit light and tight and wonderful over here in the present just knowing, right, that you can have the sigh of relief for a while. Hey, you know what, in the present, before we even get into the near future, why don't we just sit back for just one second and just breathe, right, relax, enjoy the time be grateful for everything we just went through and give ourselves a little peace of mind and relaxation you know because it like whoa what a journey um no matter what this journey was it was uh very difficult stressful however it is so you know just take this time here my friends just to relax right relax for a couple of weeks and just like and enjoy the time with the Ace of Wands. Okay, with a bit of prepare.
prepares over here, though. He is preparing you for something. What is this Buddha preparing you for with a 13? It's number 13. Look at that. 13, though. That's a beautiful number. It's coming one through one plus three is four. So it's telling you about how you have your roots and how you feel stable and you feel like you're exactly where you're supposed to be, right? The stability coming out of that is beautiful. <coughs> I've worked hard and I got here, excuse me. I've worked hard and I got here exactly where I'm supposed to be. And I just see this as just having some peace. Like, let's, you know, that's why I was like, you know what, let's just relax in the present over here for a while, guys, before we, you know, before we even really move too fast. And, uh, let's see. The Buddha prepares says this card shows the time of inner preparation before action. See, that's what I'm saying. Relax, because now it's going to get time to do what? Have more action. You're getting ready to now bloom again. Cycles, man, they just turn and turn. Sometimes I feel like the universe doesn't give us too much time before one cycle to the next, right? Okay, so it says before you can reach outside yourself, you must reach within to find power, your purpose, and your direction. This period of time may feel like a little like waiting and it appears so in your exterior life because some points of action seem to be at a standstill good though good maybe you know i i think with the destiny card it should be at a standstill that's why i say you know what just sit down and breathe for a while let it stand still don't get you know don't get too crazy and be like well where is it coming where take that time to relax like a budding flower over here you don't you know when you're watching a, a rose bloom this is totally what it reminds me of you know how it's like you'd like to just look at the rosebud just before it blooms right the flower is beautiful but how about that rosebud just when it just barely kind of opens and it's got the petals just kind of sticking out if you could like time stamp that right that's why i want you to time stamp your life right there for a second because that's really where you need to be is that blooming rose just before it opens because as soon as it opens, it only has a life period that's very small and then it's it's dead and then it has to start over again, right? So the point that I'm making is if you just keep it at a standstill for a while, just like that flower, then you're not rushing everything to happen so fast because the next cycle is going to come. You know, what are you rushing into? A bloomed flower, right? It's just relax and, you know. Take it slow. Get a little peace of mind. Because what? Because the next action that's coming is going to be very rewarding. But then we have to say, so is the rose that bloomed. But how long does it last before the next hits? So I say we take some peace of mind out for a while before we get to the awesomeness. Because after the awesomeness, there's always trips and curves and stuff, right? Nothing stays stable forever. So, I say it's good. So step back into your power and step back a little bit for a while. Don't be in a hurry. The time to act is coming and when it's here, your strength will be absolute and then you'll be ready. You'll be completely ready. So moving slow right now would be a very good thing. Kind of see this card in its own way as kind of a, a knight of uh, pinnacles, right? Just kind of be that, that cow out there, just kind of moseying along the pasture. Ooh, the Queen of Cups coming up. Beautiful. So, you know, getting back into that water energy of yourself over here, Scorpio. Um, we already seen some Libra over here with the Palace of Swords. So it's bringing up both of your, of your energies, very beautiful, the knowledge, right? The logical thinking pieces. And then you have that beautiful intuition coming in from the Queen of Cups. So, you know, using the logical with the um, intuition is a very, very wise thing to do. And you have this power of doing this more. Um, well, actually, you and uh, Aqua Pisces are, I think, the best ones. I think you're the best ones for this. <clears throat> because it's the perceiving and the knowing, right? The stillness and the quietness 
of getting into the logical thinking. But when it becomes the judgment of balancing things with logic, that's where you're going to really pick this up. I really wouldn't be surprised if we don't see a justice card here or something falling out here real quick. <laughs> Because I believe that with the Buddha over here, you're going to have this beautiful Queen of Cups coming in saying, I'm understanding where I'm supposed to be. I want the softness. I want the stillness. I want the relaxation. And I just want to kind of chill for a while before I get out there and do anything else. I want to just kind of, you know, I've been on, on a journey over here with the Emperor. You're taking that strength back, just like the Buddhist card said. Go ahead and take back your kingdom. Take back the strength within yourself and start preparing for the next big step. Yeah, the hangman. Taking some time for inaction. Yes. Chill it. Chill back. So in the near future, you're not really doing anything. Does that make sense? Not of anything real important, right? That doesn't mean you don't go to work. It doesn't mean <laughs> you don't take care of the kids. It just means that there's nothing really, really important at this time for you to really do. Meaning that when the cycle changed, it's going to stay at a standstill. So it's going to kind of stop in the middle. I and mean, we've seen this so many times, right? This is not unnatural. Actually, it's very natural. And this is because the universe is giving you time to breathe after having such a horrific journey. So there's really not a whole lot over here except for you just kind of getting it back into your power and just kind of doing your thing. Okay. That's it. That's it. You're just getting ready for the next step. No, yep. see, because you have the world card, you got the ending coming to the new beginnings and here's the, wow, there's the justice card coming out. That's what I wanted. And that's showing the ending to get yourself balanced, to get ready for the new journey. So no, there's nothing really big going on, right? You're just going to have this kind of like, kind of just stillness. Now, does that mean that there's still not drama and chaos going along in your family? Of course there is. That stuff doesn't go away. But it's what it is, is it's things that are not really um, 100% affecting you at this time, meaning, you know what, if Dan and Terry over there want to have drama, let them have their drama. I'm having my peace. So you're finding a bubble of peace for yourself to rest. Okay. Yes, the world still goes around. Okay. So let's not take that, you know, too over literal. It's just a time for you to say, I don't need to move so fast to figure out what my new destiny is, right? And if you did get a new job um, between here and there, it's going to be a little just peaceful. Just enjoy your job and, you know, learn the pieces, do what you need to do, and just find the peace within everything is really what this is about, okay? Because there's always a hecticness coming. Because after this, the cycle will change. And, you know, it's going to go around and around and around. And then it's going to bring in something very beautiful for you, but then it's going to be fast paced again because I already see it. It's already, that's what it is. So why would it make you rest if it's not going to become fast paced? You have to think about these things. What am I resting? What am I 100% resting for? You're resting because you just got out of havoc. You're going to go over here and yes, everything's going to move real fast after that with the Ace of Swords. Yes. And it's going to cause confusion and a little chaos um, and maybe a little drama. And then here we go again. But the rewards of this card are fanatically, right? Because you just did something awesome. And maybe the rewards were just getting out of whatever it was, right? Putting that finally to an end and taking that away forever. Laying it to rest with the death card, okay? So let's see what the angels have to say over here. I'm gonna use the um, life purpose cards. Yeah, so rest because it's going to get real fast, real fast. Springtime is going to be very, very fast for you. So get ready for the fast-paced life. Yeah. Family. Just chill out with your family. Relax. Support yourself as the angels support you. Support your family. 
chill, relax, get your health, get your rest, mind, all of those great things. Take some walks in nature, read some books, just chill. Just chill. You know, some of you are teachers, um, and some of you might even be getting ready to go back to school, um, and that could be where the hecticness is. I've gone through this, and I've gone through that, and now all of a sudden the swift, you know. If you're teachers, and the, the doors are getting ready, ready to open up, and all these children are coming in, that's going to be swift, that's going to be fast, and it's going to be chaotic, and I will guarantee you that, um, because everybody's ready, right? So, do some crystal healing, and uh, get ready to, yeah, build Get ready to build back your strength and get ready, right? Okay, my friends, that's it for you. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.